my lovely YouTubers. Welcome to the channel of the Loquacious One. Yes, it's that time of the year. The warmer months are coming, and so are the past. And I'm going to tell you, nothing ruins mm -hmm. a cookout or a special event more than past. And hopefully, no rodents. But I'm going to show you uh, the inexpensive way that I use to control my summertime pests inexpensively, affordably from the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Family Dollar. Okay, we're going to start with going in the back of our hall. Hopefully, you don't have roaches. Okay. But, I hate to say that word even, this is Pick Press Free Living. It is, for cucarachas is what it says, it's two traps. They pre-baited glue traps. I don't use this for roaches. I use it for any pestilence that may crawl across my floor. And I keep them by every entrance door from the outside or going to a basement. So I'll know what's possibly in my house. And I also put them under any uh, sink or basin or where water's at because those tend to attract some type of pest so these i got from dollar tree and they are two traps in a box for a dollar so you would simply put one by your door entrances if that's possible wherever water is at uh, basements attics possibly it lets you know if anything is getting inside of your house that's what i use it for and of course if you have them of course you could use them uh, to get rid of them Okay, but mine is just a way to monitor, make sure I don't have anything in my house. The next one is by Pick also. It is a ant killer bait. I don't have a, a lot of problems with ants, but if you have like an outdoor porch or enclosed porched area uh, where you do your summertime entertaining, and perhaps ants are there. You can consider these. Uh, they're from Dollar Tree. You get two bait traps in a dollar. Uh, in a box for a dollar. And it says to kill ants. Except fire ants, harvester ants, feral ants, and carpenter ants. It does not kill those. But it does kill sweet and grease eating ants. Pavement ants, odorous ants, and little black ants. So I bought a couple boxes of these because, again, like I said, um, I'll keep them by my doorways or kitchen areas just to make sure I don't get any ants. If you notice that they're coming in your bedroom or whatever, you could try these also. I'm not an exterminator. I just use stuff to deter. You know, this is, this is just deterrent for me. It, I'm not going to say if you have a awful problem that you should use this to alleviate it i think you should perhaps get an exterminator but i'm gonna tell you what works for me i don't want anybody to say oh i wasted my money and it caused a health problem perhaps or you have to be cautious with this stuff especially if you have kids and animals also read the container really really well and know what's in it okay another thing i purchased is this chase mm insect repellent it says it provides continuous protection that lasts up to three hours against mosquitoes it repels mosquito triggers ticks deer flies stable flies black flies gnats fleas on exposed skin area and deer ticks that may deer ticks that may transmit uh, lyme disease and this contains 15 percent deet so you should know that about this and it's two ounces so i'm under the impression or at least it's my belief people question it because it costs a dollar uh has it worked it has worked 
I can't say it hasn't worked, but anything is better than nothing. So when I go in areas, because I'm very frequently in the wooded areas, I live around woods. I'm practically surrounded by either woods or water. And I will enclose my pant legs. If you, you know, if you know you're going in a wooded area, wear protective shoes and socks, uh, pants that cover your legs. And if you, if you're walking through the grassy areas, it would be good to take rubber bands and even rubber band your pants leg. And then I spray the bottom of my pants leg and shoes with insect repellent and of course any exposed skin area, you know, uh, because I mean, oh, last summer and the year before we had just ticks that were literally, I seen ticks literally on people. I don't know what was going on with that. Uh, but again, you have to be cautious. And I do know someone who fell victim and lost their hearing because of, the Lyme disease. So you have to be really careful, folks, not to scare you, but be very careful. So you want some insect repellent. If you could buy a better one, that's good too. But if you just have to have something, this has 15%. You can compare it. You can ask the medical practitioner, veterinarian, whoever is knowledgeable of that, do the research. But I do use this. This is Kill Zone Indoor and Outdoor Insect Spray. It is a water-based formula, and it kills flying and crawling pests, including gnats, flies, ants, spiders, bed bugs, and other insects. I am not going to say this definitely kills, because I noticed it said bed bugs. I am just telling you what it says. But if there's a flying insect, which is rare, but if it's bothering me and bothering me in the area. I will spray that sucker. But be very cautious with this stuff. These are chemicals. Be be extra cautious. Do not inhale or breathe these. Do not spray them near animals or children or elderly people anywhere where there's food. Okay? So use caution when you're dealing with chemicals. Okay. Another thing I did. Oh, crazy. I can't hold anything. Is zap a roach. Roach and ant killer boric acid. I don't know if this is the one I got. I think, no, this is not. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, boric acid. Dollar Tree carries boric acid. I grabbed the wrong one, but they do have boric acid. And I keep boric acid and I put it around the base. Again, be careful, kids. Be careful with animals. Put it in areas where you can just fill a crack and no one will come in contact with it like between wall spaces, joists, and attics, and basements, and storage areas, or under sinks, where you know no one is really going to come in contact with it, possibly ingest it, and cause harm. But boric acid is good for that. I generally buy four big containers, and I keep them in my storage area, because I'm doing a bug out, or an emergency uh, stockpile, and... When you have stockpiles, you want to be very cautious because you have food and know that if something was to happen, pestilence will probably be a problem. You want to prevent that. So having some type of deterrence would be good for that. So I do keep four of these uh, boric acids. I also keep um, the indoor-outdoor insect killer uh, on hand. Now... I'm going to discuss about roaches. First, you need to keep your house clean. Second of all, uh, you have to keep food put up or sealed up. Second of all, uh, one thing I know works really, really good, and I'm trying to think of the name of it because I know somebody had an infestation. I really hate to talk about, talk about this, but uh, I really should... It was a jail, I think combat. And um, my girlfriend had an apartment building and the people that lived there, it was infestation of roaches just to just be blank and cure. Through a exterminator 
from uh, a job I was on. He told me about combat. It was something in it. I don't know what it was. But the combat gel, she put it down and the roaches were gone. She may have done it a total of two times in that building. But that combat gel, if you can get your hands on that, if you have um, a roach problem, I guess, works well. She has not seen them so uh, I know I haven't seen them in her building, so I can attest to that. So that's the only thing I know about what works with roaches. I haven't heard anything else. Um, if you have mice, um, and I'm scared to death of mice. Ugh, just thinking about them. I'm so sorry. But you have to know, you have to find out the source of which they're coming into your house. And I think you use steel wool, which you can get at Dollar Tree, and you have to stuff those openings or seal them so they don't get back in. I could not use mouse traps. I don't think I really ever could if I had them. Uh, I've seen Dollar Tree has sticky trays for that. I don't purchase them because I don't have infestation of mice. I live in a building that is exterminated, you know, so that's not an issue with me. But I don't think I would ever use a mouse trap. I can't tell you. To use it or not to use it is just gross. And I think instead of people just dump the mice out and re I would just throw the whole trap away. That's how crazy I think that stuff is. It's just nasty. And the sticky trays, I guess that would be better than the mouse trap, but I guess they're alive too. So uh that's just again, I will get a exterminator, but do you? You know, I'm just saying. Uh so that's about all I know about that. But keep around the perimeter of your house clean. Keep the water up. Don't stock wood near the house. You know not to have garbage. Keep your garbage receptacles away from the house because you will get possums and rodents and all types of mice and possibly rats. So you know to keep the area clean. If you have a dog or a cat, keep the poop up. I think cats bury theirs. But you know, dog poop will attract rodents also so just know you can't just have poop in the yard it will cause an attract uh mice and um mothballs if you spread mothballs uh dollar tree has mothballs if you have a lot you might want to get a larger container uh mothballs uh put in attic areas areas where mice you see mice or whatever i heard that will repel them uh also uh around the perimeter house they uh discourage certain rodents uh so that's another uh remedy and of course sprinkling well i don't know if it's a course but i heard that sprinkling cayenne pepper or hot peppers the powders on your vegetable bed will sometimes deter rodents that might come in there and want to eat but again if you have pets you have to be really really careful but i don't know if your pets would be really eating your plants but they might nose around in there so be really really cautious with that okay with that being said we're going back to what I use. This is by Pick also. It's Citronella Plus Buggables Mosquito Repellent Bands. It's seven day use once you open this packet. It's in a resealable bag. It's waterproof and it has natural oils. And you can put this around your wrist or your ankles if you're so inclined to repel bugs. And I keep some of these also in my little bug out bags too. So I would have some form of um, insect repellent other than this insect repellent spray. Um, I have others to name brand insect repellents, but this, this does what I needed to do also. Now, this I got from True Living Outdoors. It's three in one pack. I like this. It's a good deal. And um, it's from Dollar General. It's a fly swatter. And I'm not going to keep those around. I dump them every season. But I have a little pail of bleach and water and soap that I clean them with quite frequently. Because I think they're gross if you're actually using them on flies to kill flies. And ooh, please wash the area where you kill it at. I wonder where people are killing flies at in their house. Oh, well anyway, back to subject at hand. This is by Patio Essentials, a six pack of citronella incense. 
uh, is made with real citronella oil. And this is how they look. And I burned this in the outdoor area. This is the first year I've seen this at my Dollar Tree. So I am excited about this. And hope that it keeps the outdoor areas where I'm sitting at pestilence free. So we're going to try that this year and see if that works. The next items I got is from Dollar General also. It says, don't bug me, citronella candles. It's three ounces. This is what it looks like. And of course, you know, you burn them. You can put them out. You don't have to burn them all night. And I bought six of those. And this I got from the Dollar Tree. It's called Skeeter Beater Citronella Candles, Outdoor Candles. It's deep free formula made with real citronella oil and these little mason jars. Isn't that cute? I'm trying to see who make. Oh, Williamsburg Candles make these. So, yeah, a good product for $1. And I got them in blue, yellow, and green because, you know, the blue is. My outdoor color, the green is for my kitchen, and yellow is just because. Yeah, and I probably get be getting more of those, and I'll see. Cause this is, these are how many ounces? I'm trying to see. It doesn't say. It doesn't say how many ounces that these are, but these don't bug me. Are a dollar? They're three ounces from Dollar General. Okay, so folks, I've shown you how I get rid of outdoor pests from my mosquitoes and flying insects to ants that might come our way, uh, roaches or any other crawling bugs that might crawl across surfaces. I use these roach prisons for. I got insect repellent that you spray on your clothes or I don't recommend spraying deed on your skin but if you have to and you do use and you're okay with it and you you have no issues this is alternative to the more expensive brands are they as effective i don't know but it contains 15 percent deep so that's something you have to discuss with your physician or do the research on and this is for indoor and outdoor uh Insect, uh, it's a spray formula, so you have to be really careful there. But I will spray a sucker flying and don't want to get out. You're going to get out. Um, here is boric acid. When you see it, purchase it and put it down in cracks where nobody can touch it, like animals or kids, uh, in inconspicuous places to keep your home pestilent free. I believe in prevention, so. Every, about every three or four months, I will put these in the cracks just to make sure nothing is coming my way. And the Skeeter Beater candles from O. Williamsburg are so cute for outdoor living. All these are these uh, stretch bracelets, buy and put around your wrists or what have you. And of course, like I said, if you have a rotten infestation problem, the best thing is to find a source, plug it up with steel wool or patch the hole up, keep garbage away from the house, keep it covered, uh, pick up fecal matter from animals that drop on your property, uh, no wood by the house that attracts ants as well as termites. So you want to be cautious of that. You want to put mothballs down on the outside perimeter of your house for certain uh, rodents. Take care of your plants because if you have a garden, they will also attract pestilence. And there are lots of things I'm sure on YouTube that you can research on how to keep your garden pestilence free. Um, excuse me. Yeah. And your mothballs, make sure you have sachets. And be very cautious with that because there's some um, discrepancies about using mothballs. That is on you. Do the research. Ask your medical practitioner, uh, is it worth it? There are natural alternatives that you can use and you might want to research that. Also, last but not least, keep a fly swatter. Psh, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And, um, yeah, mouse traps, I don't deal with them at all. 
They have the glue traps. If you just have them and want to try them, you can. I don't know how effective that is or if it will work. Uh, I just say call exterminator, but that's not always feasible with some people. But again, it is what it is. All right, till next time, this is the loquacious one. Hoping you have a pest-free, um, warmer summer months. Till the next time, bye-bye.